Since the old days of cinema, there has always been the dilemma of choosing between an anamorphic or spherical lens. A spherical lens has a uniform image across the entire frame field, while an anamorphic lens has irregularities due to the anamorphic element. They are also known for their flare and bokeh. So today we will compare fake anamorphic with real anamorphic in more detail to see more differences in the image. One of the differences to remember is that true anamorphic makes your scene a little wider, so you need to keep that in mind when choosing a lens. In some cases, because of the width of the frame, you can even compare the longer focal length of an anamorphic to the smaller focal length of a spherical. In our case, we're using a fake anamorphic with amber coloration, which makes the image a little warmer, so you can get the style you want immediately without additional color correction. Let's take a moment to look at the frames. The fake anamorphic is generally similar due to the oval bokeh and flare. Yes, it can be a little darker, but if you study a range of absolute anamorphic optics, it will always be darker. Also, the oval makes the flare of all lenses uniform in the bokeh, balancing the lens slightly across the field, reducing chromatic aberration if that's important to you. The main difference is the price. If you take our anamorphic attachment, it costs the same as a set of lenses, and this is the cheapest solution acceptable on the market. Everything else will be much more expensive. If you're just at the beginning of your journey or your budget for a project today is limited, look out for fake anamorphic modifications. They'll help you get a similar style for less money, and you can redirect them to more important things like coverage. If you still have questions, we still need to answer. Feel free to ask them in the comments below the video. Subscribe to our social networks and stay up to date with the news. See you soon.